Okay, welcome back. We are doing the College Board Question Bank Linear Functions. Uh, we are con uh, continuing from question ending 850, number 46 in this adventure. Um, I'm going to try to blast through as many as I can tonight. Um, so if you need some definitions, please go back and review uh, videos 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I believe this is video 6 in this sequence on linear functions. So without further ado, we've got to keep this video under 20 minutes, so let's keep on trucking along. Three hours, the equation below distance d, t hours. Okay, so what does 45 represent? That must be the miles per hour. Because if we are doing um, 45 T, where T is the uh, hours, so we should understand this to be a distance per um, hours, so like miles per hour times hours, that would give us um, distance. Sorry, my tablet seems to be having a little bit of a delay. Um, so A is clearly wrong. Um, distance between is 45, no. Uh, drove speed of 45, yes, C. That is ranked easy, and indeed the answers is what made that, or sorry, the answers are what made that easy. Uh, the math itself or the definition, of course, is not necessarily easy. You will, in life, be asked to be doing not a lot of easy things. Nobody's at telling you that this stuff is easy. You'll ask to be doing hard things, but let's go. Linear model estimates of population city. So we've got a, what is that, 14 year period. Model estimates the population 57,000, so that's a y-intercept, 20, 224,000. It's an xy-coordinate point. What is x? Yeah, so these are giving us xy-coordinate points. So we have a 0, comma, 57. i got to figure out why my tablet has a delay. And then we have 224 in 2011, so that is a... 91, 2001, 2011 is 20 year period, so 20 to uh, 224. Yeah. Did I say that was 14 years? <laughs> My age is showing. All right. Um, 224, so change in y over change in x is, of course, our slope. I'm just going to pull up a quick calculator. 224 minus 57 is 167. And 20, of course, is the change in x. 167 over 20 is our slope, whatever that reduces to. We don't care about the slope. We want the rest of it. 167 over 20 x. And our y-intercept was 57. And they want to know what was the population in the year 2015, which is not a 14-year difference, but rather a 24-year difference. Yikes. All right. Um, so y equals 167 over 20, 24 plus 57. And you would be able to just pump this through Desmos on the real exam. I'm doing this on a standard computer calculator. Fifty-seven point four to the nearest whole number, so two five seven should be our correct answer there, I hope. Assuming I didn't make any errors. Oh, I forgot to write down the uh, code there, C7B. Pretty 
8. That's what I get for taking a break between videos. I forget my process. BCB is our code for number 48. All right, we have a linear function there, centimeters, x centimeters, fixed width. What is the width in centimeters of the rectangle? Okay, this is the perimeter. The length is x. The width is the other part, of course, because there are two, the perimeter of a rectangle Remember what a rectangle looks like. We have length and width, whatever side you want to designate there. And the perimeter is the sum of those things. So we have 2w plus 2l. 2 times the width and 2 times the length. If x is the width, then this component of our question, to, or of our given equation, is the width, of course. And 244 corresponds to 2L. So naturally, L is half of 244, making it B. We have two coordinate points given on number 49. D, 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 all the Ds. All right, um, is the test code on this one. So we have 0, 8. We know that the y-intercept is 8 because of that coordinate point, so the answer must be A. <laughs> Oddly ranked as a difficulty 2 pips there, medium question. Um, oh, hold up, I'm moving too fast. Moving too fast. Got to read each answer, Alex. All right, uh, it could be A or D. <laughs> For those of you who caught that as soon as I made the mistake, congratulations, it's either A or D. Um, the other y, uh, other x y coordinate point is one comma twelve. So zero eight gives us the y intercept. One twelve gives us another coordinate point. The change in y is four. The change in x is one. So of course the slope is four. So indeed, the d is the answer to go with all the d's. Okay, number fifty. Whew. How are we doing on time? Seven minutes, not bad. Okay, T seconds draining the hole at the bottom, the according to the model, the predicted volume draining for each second. So four. Um, zero, four, five is the code on this one. They're basically asking for the they're basically asking for the slope. What is the volume draining from the container each second and if t is the number of seconds the slope is the volume per second don't overthink this stuff 51 code e zero a we have a function given in point slope form uh, we have seen this a couple of times before the slope is up front, 9 fifths. The point that's given is 273.15, comma, 32. If a temperature increased by 2.1, by how much did the temperature increase in degrees Fahrenheit? This feels familiar. Did we have a question earlier that was nearly identical? I'm going to just search quickly by the word Celsius. Mm. It helps if I spell the word Celsius correctly. Oh, it doesn't use Celsius. Uh, Fahrenheit. Yes. Um, okay, slow down. Okay, they literally did the same question several times and just changed the numbers. The, the 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 expression stayed the same. Did you catch that? The expression stayed the same. Nine fifths, two seventy three point one five and thirty two. Look at the Kelvins. Nine point one, and then I'll go jump to here, and it's the exact same thing with two point one. So they're recycling. They're recycling the, the question here 
and then I see here we've got another Fahrenheit question. Um, that is wild. Um, but the College Board is going to do what the College Board is going to do, I suppose. But anyhow, let's go ahead and solve it. So <clears throat> if the temperature increased by 2.1 Kelvin, F is the Fahrenheit, X is in Kelvins. So I want to increase by 2.1. It doesn't say that I'm going from a specific number to a different specific number. It just says an increase in 2.1. So what would happen here? The easiest thing to do here is to graph it in Desmos, but <clears throat> let's uh, do it algebraically. Nine fifths x minus 273.15 plus 32. Man, the delay is killing me. Um, oh, you know what? I have a download happening in the background. I'm going to pause that. That's probably messing with my tablet here. All right, and I want to increase the temperature by 2.1. So I'm going to do 9 fifths. Okay, that didn't seem to help my tablet, but that's okay. I'm going to increase that by 2.1 minus 273.15 plus 32. All right. Combine like terms. 9 fifths x minus to an increase of 2.1 is going to be 271.05 plus 32. How much did the temperature increase in Fahrenheit? Um, to find the change, what do we want to do? I think I'm going to have to use Desmos. I, I'm sorry. I think. This is going to be the first time I pulled it up in this series, um, but I'm doing it on another screen here. I'm literally just typing in what I have there. I'll pull it up on the screen here for you guys in a moment. Okay. And they want to know what happens when you increase okay put those parentheses there so what I'm what I'm doing on my other screen here let me let me pull this up before I continue here show you guys what I'm doing in Desmos Window. There we go. All right. So there's Desmos. I typed in exactly what I had written out: uh, nine fifths x minus two seventy three point one five plus thirty two, and then nine fifths x plus. Um, Put it in parentheses plus 2.1. Close the parentheses. <clears throat> Minus 273.15 plus 32. All right. Go back to the question. Okay. Um, if a temperature increase, how much did the temperature increase in Fahrenheit? Da -da -da. <clears throat> so I want to find the difference between these two guys. So there's a couple ways to do that. But really, ultimately what we're doing, what we want to do, is we want to find, just plop a vertical line on this and find the difference in the y values. So we could do this in a number of different ways. I could have, in the original algebra here, I could have picked an x coordinate like 1 or 2 or whatever and found the difference between <clears throat> that first expression um, 
this is going to be a shorter, we're only going to end up doing a couple questions on this video, aren't we? Um, so I could pop a number into this guy and then pop that same number into this guy and take the subtraction of the two. <laughs> or I could do what I'm doing here in Desmos. Show you that again. And let's go ahead and, so I see we're at like 254. Let's go ahead and put an x equals on here. x equals 254. We get that vertical line there. And I, I see that we've got negative 2.47 and positive 1.31. That is what we want. 2, negative 2.47. Double check it. And 1.31. 1.31 minus negative 2.47 is 3.78. And that will be my answer. Double check it. Cut my memory. 3.78. And that is how we can use Desmos on this stuff to good effect. 3.78. Oh, that's A. Okay. A. Uh, otherwise, I would have just literally like picked a value for x and subtracted them, or just straight up subtracted them. Um, if we subtract these values, or these expressions, we may end up getting that same ex answer. But you've got such a powerful tool in Desmos, so you might as well use it when it is appropriate to use it. I bet that that question, being three pips on the difficulty, is very likely representative of some of the hardest questions that you are likely to see in this format. All right, moving on. 52. 134 is our ending code. Linear function, obviously, because that's what we're doing. S miles an hour, miles per hour. Okay, that's odd. That's the speed. T is seconds. Okay, this is a velocity acceleration question. If you know physics, this is a very easy question. Miles per hour, yeah, five seconds. So you just plug in five for T. Um, 40 plus three times five which is obviously 15, so you get 55, so D. Some are really easy, some are really thinking hard. All right, uh, y-intercept and slope there. Jump to the end. How many hours was Brittany paid for her first week of work? Okay, take home pay was that much, so uh, get the 53, the question number, and 6A6. So we set that value 1576 equal to our function 1000 um, plus 18h. She's being paid $18 an hour and she had a $1,000 signing bonus apparently. It's, even without reading the question, we can interpret what's going on with these numbers. Um, and a quick glance here, I see 1000 is a sign on bonus, yeah. Um, so subtract that over, you get 576 equals 18h, divide the 18, 576 divided by 18, no immediate numbers strike me, so I'm again going to use a calculator, because I am lazy, I encourage you to be as lazy as I am, at the very least, so that's b, um, just dividing that out, 32 equals h. Okay, moving on. That was 53. 54. Maybe we will get to 55 in this video. 54, f3e. Linear function, obviously. xy coordinate point. Uh, g of 4 equals 31 should be understood to be an xy coordinate point 4 comma 31. Ooh. Write that out properly. 31. 
as an xy coordinate point. So we can plug that into our function 5 times 4 um, plus a equals 31. 5 times 4 is 20, of course, plus a equals 31. a is 11, subtracting the 20. So what's the value of a? That is c. All right, last question of the video, 55. Code will be A95. All right, uh, and again, same kind of thing. We got a linear function with a missing piece and an xy coordinate point. We should understand j of 12 8 equals 18 to be 12, 18 as our coordinate point. Um, so m is our variable. Forgive my handwriting today, my goodness. 144 equals 18. It's because my, my cursor disappears every time I press. i got to figure out what's going on with my tablet. Um, but anyway, m times 12 plus 144 equals 18. Subtract the 144, divide by 12 to get our slope. So m equals 18 minus 144. It's negative 126 divided by 12 is negative 10. 0.5. So starting over, negative 10.5 times x plus 144 is our, our standard function, and they want j of 10. So we're going to plug just 10 in there. Uh, that's negative 105 because 10.5 1, times 10, you just move the decimal over once, plus 144. Um, is the same thing as 144 minus 105. The hundreds cancel out. 44 minus 5 is 39, I believe. So that's our answer there. All right, let's check our work. I'm not confident in my work today. I'm feeling a little off. Tired. It's a long day at work. All right, C. 257, yep. B, 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 yes, good. D, for all the Ds, 0, 4, 5 was D as well. 8, 0, A, is A, good. Whew, that one had me worried. That was our tough one. All right, 134, D, 6A6, six B, F3, C, oh, F3E, rather, was C, and A95 was 39. Whew, okay, finally we had a difficult question here in the fashion of a linear function. Number 80A, and we saw by searching in the, doing a quick search in the question bank here, that we did indeed have um, a very similar question. They do like this one. In fact, they liked it so much that they reused they reused the entire formula and just changed this number here in Kelvin's. So make sure that you're studying that. Watch the video again. Pause and attempt the questions along the way. If you learned something, please give a thumbs up and a comment down in the section below. Follow along and subscribe if you want to watch the rest of these things. Hopefully we'll be wrapping up our linear functions expedition in the next three or four videos. And then we'll start on, um, I believe they call it linear equations, which is similar but slightly different. And we'll continue down this rabbit hole. Thanks for watching. See you next time.